Ice Cube, Snoop Deal Double G, and October London, all in the same interview for Gala Music. Now y'all know we gotta talk about it, just hang tight. <laughs> it's your girl Kelly Crypto. What's up my people? Welcome back to another video. Before I go any further, I received an email from a viewer. I just wanted to go ahead and shed some light on that email. Uh, so it's gonna be from Trenton. And Trenton says, hey Kelly, just to thank you for all your YouTube videos. I'm super bullish on all gala projects, but I did miss the October London drop. I had the time zone confused. And Trenton, I can completely relate to you on that. Sometimes these time zones, when things are being released, can be really, really confusing because there's so many different damn time zones. Um, but what I would suggest, or I would highly suggest, if you're given a time ahead of time of when something is gonna launch, go on to Google. And there's tons of sites for this. I would just say pick one. Um, and find you a time zone converter. So that way you already have the correct time zone. But aside from that, Trenton, thank you so much for reaching out to me. I wanted to let you know that I did get your email. Thank you so much for supporting my channel and being a viewer. It really does mean a lot to me and I really appreciate you. This channel is like my virtual baby. So again, it really does mean a lot to me to have you reach out. And any other listeners who are interested in contacting me, you can do so as well. My email is info at kellycrypto.com. Again, that email is info at kellycrypto.com. And that information is also located down in the description. Now, although it's been a couple of days, I still wanted to make sure to get this video up because the AMA that took place on Friday was very insightful. We meet October London, and when I tell you this man is talented, this man is talented. If you have not checked out his music, you need to pause this video, open up another tab, go to YouTube, and type in his name and go listen to his music. You are going to love his music. He's a very versatile artist, and when I first heard his music, I was like, oh, he's singing, singing. So what I am going to do, I'm gonna include a card up above in this video. Um, so that way, if you wanna get some more information on October London, you can go ahead and click that card. It's gonna take you over to that video that I created a couple of days ago, specifically focused on October London. Now, Bucks kicked off this interview by asking Snoop, what kind of revolution do you think is going to happen by Death Row Records working with Gala Music? And Snoop had a lot to say. But trust me, I was sitting there with my pen and my notepad taking notes. My key takeaways on this is that Snoop loves the fact that Gala Music is forward thinking. He mentions that Gala is about the future, moving forward. Uh, they're about creativity and giving artists creative freedom. Um, and this is something that I touched on in one of my previous videos about Gala. Nobody wants to have a gift and then feel like they have have outrageous limitations. And what I'm trying to say is that artists should not be boxed into or molded into anything. Their craft or their talent should not be treated like it's on an assembly line because it's not. And that's where Gala Music comes in because they're giving that power back to the artist to just be themselves. He likes the fact that going this route is actually financially helping the fans by letting them profit um, and letting them be a part of the project. Snoop also mentioned that this business relationship with Gala Music is one that a lot of artists have been waiting on in the traditional music world for a pretty long time. Direct engagement with their fan base that they created and no rules and regulations to restrict them from being their creative selves. Snoop was asked, what are his plans for emerging artists and what kind of music genre is he looking for? Snoop mentioned that Death Row Records is the first major label to become an NFT label that's based off being in Web3 and creating content where people can actually own and trade. And in a nutshell, Snoop's main focus is bringing great artists and great music into this space. Now, as far as genres, I went to go do a little snooping. No pun intended. <laughs> no, I don't know if this means much. I'm gonna just show you and you can come up with your own ideas and thoughts. <laughs> um, but as far as genres, let's look. So I went here and I went to collections and just kind of went down the list. So we got Death Row EDM. Death Row R&B, Death Row Alternative, Death Row Country Music, Death Row Kids, and then, oh, see, and here go another one, Death Row Meditative, yeah, so it looks like there's a few different genres 
going on here. So again, I don't know if this means anything. Um, this is just me doing some web surfing. So at this point in the interview, we go ahead and switch gears and we hop on over to Cube. And Cube basically just died right in. He mentioned that it's all about the fans and the experience and about the artists taking their time. And as a creator, Cube feels like Gala is a dream come true because you tend to see a lot of great things from great artists. But Cube mentions that a lot of the things that keep artists up at night are the things that the fans can't see. Like projects being held up or not being able to collaborate. Hell, just not doing things that you want to do as an artist. Pretty much because the powers that be just won't let certain things happen. Cube feels like an artist being able to engage with their fan base directly is always the best way. And in this world, fans who are really down with artists can win my monetarily. Cube also mentioned that these are all things that he had thought about in the 90s and the early 2000s and now that that time is here, Cube is excited to be a part of the space. Now Cube mentioned that a movie is currently being discussed with the members of Mount Westmore. Now if you don't know about Mount Westmore or you haven't heard of Mount Westmore, it's a group of OGs who came together. So in Mount Westmore we've got Snoop, Ice Cube, Too Short, and E-40. And like I mentioned before, this is still in the works. And according to Cube, they're still working on subject matter. And although it's still being discussed, he really does think that'll be something great for the community. Now hopping back over, Snoop was asked, how do you view the Gala partnership going forward? And Snoop said, Gala Music will be the exclusive place where Death Row Records lives in the metaverse. Now touching on that Snoop Bounce NFT track, just in case anyone was curious as into why he chose that song. Quick backstory, um, that song came off the Dogfather album. He also threw out there that that song was produced by DJ Pooh. Now if you're not familiar with DJ Pooh's music, I'm pretty sure you're familiar with this face. <laughs> Y'all, I've seen this movie a million times and that never gets old. But in all seriousness, Snoop mentioned that they really didn't see much when it came to the financials on that album. So he took that Snoop Bounce song to put it out there on Gala Music to see what the response would be. And obviously we all see how that went. 500 copies for $500 and they all sold out. I can't remember how fast they sold out, but it didn't take very long. I wanna say like in less than an hour, if that, because yeah, I was sitting there on my computer like about to break a sweat because <laughs> I was afraid I wasn't gonna get one. But yeah, that was a green light to him to show him hey, fans are still wanting the classic music. So my last few takeaways, um, Snoop mentioned that Mount Westmore has a full album that's coming pretty soon. Uh, they're working on some visuals, a comic book specifically for the Gala Games community that could possibly turn into an animated series. And Snoop said maybe he's thinking about selling nothing but a G thing next month. All right, y'all, so that's what I took away from the AMA that took place on Friday. Now, just out of curiosity, drop a comment down below letting me know. Did you catch the AMA? Uh, did you have any questions that were answered? Uh, any questions that went unanswered? How are you feeling so far about Gala Music? If you haven't done so already, be sure to go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you enjoy watching content similar to this. I look forward to catching you guys on my next video.